Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Cozzi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to go to black-cat-comics.com and pick up something fun to read. Because that's what comics are, they're fun to read and this week is packed with stuff that's tons of fun. It's always a big week for this guy. This is the latest issue of Batman, the core Bat title, the core DC title, the core title of all of comics. This is number 109. If you're not reading Batman, then you just don't like comics very much because this is one of the best books out there and a great place to start, great jumping point. A lot going on these days in, in the Bat books and uh, a lot to keep up with, but it's a whole lot of fun with the moving and shaking. That is your core Batman book, but this one, Batman Catwoman, is our book of the week. You know we love anything Tom King. This really is one of my favorite titles running right now. Uh, honestly, as much as I'm a Marvel person, uh, Batman's got some of my favorite books right now. This is one of them. Batman Superman's one of them. On and on I could go. If you're not reading Batman Catwoman, you're missing one of the best books out there. Grab the first issue and it will suck you in and make you want to read all the ones uh, catching up to this week's current issue. Can't say enough about that. Tons of, tons of fun. Batman The Adventures Continue Season 2 picks up uh, from the Batman animated series that everybody loves. Obviously, there was the 12-issue run before this one that introduced all kinds of cool DC characters that we didn't see in the show back in the day. Uh, the book was super, super popular, so now they're doing round two, which is awesome. Anybody alive loves the Batman animated series and seeing new stories with new characters set in that universe is tons and tons of fun. It's also a great example of the huge range that uh, DC exemplifies with the character, which is tons of fun. Like that one, or Next Batman, Second Son, because, you know, Bruce Wayne doesn't have to be the only Batman. And if that's not all enough Batman for you, here's Man Bat! Because Man Bat's awesome. If you're a huge fan of the Batman animated series, you remember some cool Man Bat episodes. If you're 100 years old like me, you remember tons of cool Man Bat comics. A little bit of uh, what makes horror superhero comics awesome. More on horror in just a minute. Justice League from Brian Michael Bendis, one of the biggest comics out there. If uh, you've been away from Justice League for a while, now's the time to come back. I'm always talking up Justice League because uh, they've just been doing a great job with this, had some of their top talent, all the best heroes, all the best villains. If you can only read one comic in a month, Justice League should be that book because it's tons of fun. Speaking of tons of fun, Green Lantern number three. The uh, latest relaunch of uh, DC's Guardians of the Galaxy. Love me some Green Lantern. Love this new run with the focus on Jon Stewart because he's awesome. Grab the other two issues and catch up to this week's number three. Crush and Lobo is one of the new titles. DC has all kinds of new books and their classic books have new creative teams. If you've been away from the DC book for a while, it's a good time to come back. Uh, if you feel like taking a chance on any DC book, it's a good chance to take. I love anything with Lobo. And if you've been reading uh, Teen Titans lately, then you're a big fan of Crush. So who doesn't love team up books? Sensational Wonder Woman. Again, one of the newer titles from DC because Wonder Woman's awesome enough to carry lots of titles. Or Crime Syndicate, bit of a mini, but also awesome. And this one immediately went on everybody's subscription list. So if you haven't been checking out Crime Syndicate, you're missing something cool because everybody's reading that one. Suicide Squad and Swamp Thing round out your uh, DCU proper. But always more DC to talk about, like The Conjuring. DC horror. Nobody in mainstream comics does horror books like DC does. Going back, uh, well, as far back as you want to go to House of Mystery and House of Secrets back in the 60s and 70s, uh, into the Vertigo stuff of the 80s, 90s, 2000s, uh, into the Black Label stuff, and now into DC horror like this one, or like Nice House on the Lake. Nice House on the Lake sounds like an easygoing comic, but you can tell by that cover it's a little creepy and spooky. So, a uh, couple uh, horror books here in the beginning of summer, and as I say, always more from DC, like Poison Ivy Thorns, or Catwoman Soul Stealer, or the latest uh, additions to their young adult library, cool uh, graphic novels for the tween reader in your life, or for you if you're just looking for uh, something awesome. 
cool self-contained out of continuity they're their own universe you like Catwoman you like Poison Ivy like everybody does great great week for the DC guys huge range of fun stuff to read good week for the Marvel guys too been talking up X books like crazy like Hellions or like Marauders the one that's on everybody's list probably because it's got Emma in it or X-Force everybody loves some X-Force as always, there's tons and tons of X-Books. I'm always saying you don't have to read each and every one to get the story, uh, but there's an X-Book out there that you would like. They've all got different characters, different genre, different creative teams. Uh, a little something for everyone, as is the theme to our newsletter this week. So take a look around. Check out some X-Books. There's three of them that are this week. Or some Heroes Reborn, the latest big Marvel event, because there's always a big cool event going on big crossover type thing. This is the main book, Heroes Reborn. It's already up to number five because it's weekly. There's been a bunch of these rolling out. And then they got a bunch of side books and one shots like Heroes Reborn American Knights or Heroes Reborn Marvel Double Action. If you're 100 years old like me, you remember Marvel Double Action being a reprint book. If you're a big time Marvel fan, you realize the cool homage cover they're going, they got going on right there. Heroes Are Born has been a lot of fun. I don't want to go too all into it. As I said, there are already five issues in. Grab the first issue. You'll get the gist of it. It's a ton of fun. You'll want to keep up. Again, you don't have to read all these side books to get the main book, but if you like the main book, pick up those sides because they're really fun. Amazing Spider-Man. This is the one I've been waiting to get to. This is your jump-in point for one of the best books in comics right now. I'm loving Amazing. It is tons of fun. It is action-packed. Uh, classic characters, new characters, classic villains, new villains. Uh, just everything that makes Spider-Man fun. Been talking about this book like crazy. If you're not reading Amazing Spider-Man, this is your jump-in point. And there's the chameleon on the cover who goes back to the very first issue of the run. Uh, what's the legacy number on that? 868 issues ago, so that's pretty awesome. Amazing and non-stop Spider-Man are your others are your spider books for the week. Love non-stop Spider-Man. It's all right there in the title. This book is just fast-paced action from cover to cover. So if you're a big Spidey fan, you want to get up on that one. And Black Cat, I guess, rounds out your Spidey stuff for the week. We're Black Cat Comics, so we always got to show a cool cover with Black Cat on it. Savage Avengers, one of my favorite, favorite Marvel books, along with Immortal Hulk, another one of my favorite, favorite books. A couple of books I've been encouraging you folks to get into from the very beginning. As I always say, Immortal Hulk's worth it just for that cover art. Those Alex Ross covers are amazing. Last, definitely not least, is Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, number one. If you picked up Alpha and you freaking loved it like I did, and uh, you like all the other Star Wars stuff like I do, you want to keep rolling with this one. Always pushing you guys to check out the great job Marvel does with everything Star Wars. Star Wars, Vader, Dr. Aphra, Bounty Hunters, now War of the Bounty Hunters. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, if you just love some sci-fi, great stories, great art, nothing wrong with that. Pretty small week for the other guys, but tons of great stuff. Young Hellboy is one of your Dark Horse books of the week, because you know I never miss a chance to talk up anything Mignola, and this one's been a lot of fun. Jenny Zero, number two, is your other Dark Horse book of the week, to show you that they do a whole lot more than uh, Hellboy verse stuff and licensed product stuff, licensed property stuff, I mean. Jenny Zero, number one, totally sold out and was a big hit, so... Look around, uh, see if you can grab a copy of that and grab this week's number two. Deadly Class is your image book of the week. Good to see Deadly Class back in action after one of those image comics hiatuses. Speaking of which, Betty Page is back in comics after a bit of a hiatus, which is awesome. Dynamite does a hilarious job with Betty Page, uh, turning her from supermodel into... Uh, Oh, I don't know, international spy and superhero. It's a really fun title. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is your Boom Studios book of the week. Everybody loves the Whedon verse. And Rick and Morty gets a new first issue. That's your Oni Press book of the week. Everybody loves some Rick and Morty. And then it's a big week for the All Ages for the first time in a little while. It's a Marvel action sweep. Been talking up uh, IDW and Marvel teaming up to do Marvel's All Ages line in a series called Marvel Action. They do Marvel Action Captain Marvel. They do Marvel Action Classics 2-in-1. This is a big old chunky book. 
starring some Spider-Man, and Marvel Action Origins, where you get two origins in every story. This one's Captain Marvel and the Green Goblin. Nothing cooler than the Green Goblin. Love, of course, seeing anything Marvel in an all-ages format. It's a nice range of stuff for the young reader in your life, or uh, if you're looking for something a little less apocalyptic. Look, that one's got a dog. They also have Star Wars Adventures, which is really awesome. Always encouraging you guys to put an all-ages book on your list. Lots and lots of great stuff, so check the shipping list. Go to black-cat-comics.com. Click on New This Week. Take a look at all the books we've been talking about. You can uh, pick up your books, get an in-store pickup, curbside pickup, get them shipped out to you. Then you check them out. You tune in on Saturday, and we talk about them on Comic Shop Live, because that's what we do. That's all we got for you for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see you next time.